Michael. It's Nell here and thank you so much for getting in touch with me. I'm very flattered that you've chosen me to give you a few tips about how to avoid or how to deal with the mean reds. Let's just begin with what a wonderful story, short story, book, Breakfast at Tiffany's is. Truman Capote, it's, he's just a marvel. I adore his, his writing. Uh, I do recommend also um, In Cold Blood if you haven't read it. It's just incredible. Anyway, here's the thing. I am blessed with not, not, I don't really, I don't get depressed, but I do have anxiety. But my anxiety, I actually take antidepressants. Yes, I do. I know a lot of men find it very hard to admit they need antidepressants, but mine are just to take that edge off. Um, Zoloft is what suits me. There's so many different types. So I know that's probably the last thing you're expecting me to advise you with is to start taking drugs or antidepressants. I mean, but um, if you're someone that's anxious a lot and regularly, I do, recommend that you consider it okay because they just take my I'm uh, as I say I'm not a depressant a depressive at all but my anxiety it's it it's more like I would I I started when I was about I don't know in my early 50s obsessing about negative things which was completely unlike me anyway that has total, the Zoloft has totally helped me stop obsessing about negative things. So that's fantastic. Secondly, the, I've read, uh, I've got relatives and friends that have, that do get depressed and I've read so much about it, about, and the best things to do. Okay. And the number one thing I know that the psychiatrists say is exercise. And I recently read someone saying the number one thing was, an expert was saying this, the number one thing was to get up and do something. And it's true because the more you wallow, the more you, you know, concerned with things. See, that's somebody, you know, coming to arrest me for banging on too long. Um, I'm in Sydney, Australia, yeah. So um, what I'm saying is, I, th I do, they all say that exercise is the number one cure for being depressed. Isn't that, isn't that interesting? So do make sure you're getting a lot of exercise. And also remember that nothing ever stays the same. If you're in a funk or you feel you're in a rut with your life, things are always going to change because everything changes. Okay, so do remember that too. And just, you know, just get outside and walk, uh, go and see people, keep yourself occupied so you can't, you know, obsess about what it is, okay? So they're my best recommendations for when you get in the red, is it in the reds? Yeah, getting the mean reds, that's right, getting the mean reds. By the way, I am with Truman Capote that Audrey Hepburn was completely miscast. He wanted Marilyn Monroe for the role. There's something about, um, to me, Audrey Hepburn isn't a vulnerable person, even though she's so skinny. And remember, it wasn't until she wrote her autobiography that she admitted she'd had anorexia and bulimia all the life. Interesting too, isn't it? Because everyone thought, oh, she's just so divinely skinny. Anyway, they're just little details, but I hope this helps. And, you know, life is just such a fabulous thing. And I think being outside is very helpful too. I, I love to garden and just being outside and, and having my hands in the soil and moving things about and pruning, all of that helps me enormously. And I do highly recommend mindfulness, meditation, yoga.
fantastic. Really, really look into those things. Because remember, mindfulness is, it. well, you you just look it up and you'll find out. It's, it's, to, it's retraining your brain to to think in a positive way rather than a negative way, okay? And it's it's fantastic. And also yoga is just is uplifting and it's a great physical form of exercise, even though it's very subtle, as well as helping the soul and the spirit. So there you are, darling. Good luck with all of it. And I'm very, very touched, as I say, that you got in touch with me. And I hope this helps you. And I'm just going to make sure... Oh, you follow me on Instagram. Oh, how great. Hollywood boy 63. How great. Oh, well, you, you know I'm sitting here at the Hacienda right now. Well, lots of love to you and good luck. Onward and upward. And health, by the way, is everything. Mwah. Goodbye. Love, Michael. Mwah.